This is at the top of the hill at uh, Moorhead State Campus. Really nice pond with a sitting bench. And I'm going to sit here and rest for a few minutes. I started to record this yesterday and uh, I just had all kinds of uh, electronic technology problems. Uh, lost my headphones, earbuds, and then my battery went dead as I was trying to record this. So yesterday I was at Cave Run Lake at the dam and I decided because I got a late start I didn't get to start until around 10.30 or 11 because of the rain. It rained all night, the night before last, for around 11 or 12 hours straight. And then when I actually got started around 10.30 or 11 a.m., the trails were just a soggy mess. Um, I could kind of compare it to uh, a creamy potato soup and, you know, the hard parts look hard until you stepped on them and then you just sunk up to your ankles. So that made uh, yesterday's mileage really hard to get and uh, it took the better part of the day to get from where I camped at um, to the dam so I decided to night hike to get to Moorhead uh, by this morning and somewhere along the trail I took a two or three hour nap I just got where it was more effort to move my legs than what it was to just take a take a break so I literally uh, cowboy camped right in the middle of the trail. And I did that until I felt a few drops of rain hit my face. And that woke me up after I'd been out for about three hours. And uh, I laid there trying to decide if I was going to pack up and get out of there. Not knowing if the rain was just going to be a quick one or just a few showers. And I laid there for about five or ten minutes, and I felt more rain hitting my face, so I said I better get up because I don't want my quilt to get wet. And uh, I literally packed everything up, made it into Moorhead at about 6 a.m. It was still dark. Made it to the Shell Station. I got some uh, snacks there, uh, a Gatorade. And I sat outside and just rested my feet and ate snacks for about an hour and charged my phone. And then from there, I made it to downtown Moorhead and I stopped at Arby's and had breakfast. And I rested there quite a bit because, you know, I really haven't had any sleep th three hours. And probably only two of that was actual sleep. And uh, now I've crossed the uh, campus. It says I have 23 miles left. And I'm going to try to get in around 10 miles today and then finish it up tomorrow, it looks like. That, that's kind of the plan, but I'm, I'm really exhausted, so we'll see. But here's this view of this lake. It is absolutely stunning. Check this out. I was walking up the trail and I saw what I thought was someone left a first aid kit behind because there's some like bandages spread out. And uh, I pulled the box out and it's actually a geocache. Not much in it. Some odd end stuff. It is up by, let's see, where Chateau Trace and Eagle Lake.
Then we have Martin Branch Trail. It doesn't really say what goes that way. I'm guessing it must be Eagle Lake, one and three quarter mile. So it must be a loop of some sort. Oh well, I'm going to take a break right here. I've been hiking for 24 hours straight now. <laughs>